social media stats. This is something that certainly folks like you and I, online business owners, online marketers, we can become obsessed with this stuff, right? But as a matter of fact, a huge hang up for a lot of people are social media metrics, but not just any metrics, the wrong metrics. So here today, right now, we're gonna dig deep into what's most important and what isn't when it comes to your social media stats. What's going on, my friend? I'm Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business, and launch a better tomorrow, then you are definitely in the right spot. Okay, now, you and I have quite a bit to cover here, but before we really get moving, before we really get rolling, to help you untangle the mess that is online business and online marketing, I've put together something special for you, an online business jumpstart guide. This is a free, easy to follow, downloadable, printable PDF guide that gives you a solid foundation, a solid blueprint for you, for your online business and your marketing endeavors. Essentially what we do in this free guide is we take what you already have, existing knowledge, existing skills, things that you may not realize have value for you and for your online business and your marketing, and we leverage them to serve the exact sorts of people who you want to work with through your online business. This free guide lays things out in a crystal clear progressive set of steps to help you develop a solid plan for your business. Packed with actionable steps and resources to get you moving, go ahead and grab your free guide right now while it's still available over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. Okay, now, like I say, a huge, huge hang up for a lot of people is metrics, specifically the wrong metrics, social media metrics. Here's an example of exactly what I'm talking about here. Views on YouTube, like the number of views a specific video has. This metric is largely irrelevant to the success of your online business, and here's why. All this metric means is, here's how many people have watched at least 30 seconds of this video, or however YouTube counts of you, I think it's the first 30 seconds, of this video since this video was first uploaded. Does that metric help your business? Kinda, sorta, I'm thinking about like views on your videos specifically here, but mostly kinda not really. It doesn't really matter, not in a direct way anyway. Let me give you an example. Views that I got on a video that I posted five years ago are of zero value to my online business now unless any of those views convert into a paying customer. And see, my friend, that is it. That is it right there. We're looking at the wrong metric. We are tracking the wrong numbers. See, because if you're using video, as I am, as a part of your content marketing strategy, then individual video views are, as I said a moment ago, irrelevant. Sure, high view counts and high subscriber counts or follower counts look really good and maybe they make us feel really good, but they are what are called vanity metrics. They do not deposit money into your business bank account, not directly anyway. And the same holds true for other common metrics that us online marketers and online business owners get distracted by. Metrics like website traffic and the number of likes and the number of followers and so on. Remember, my friend, it's a funnel. It's a sales funnel, right? We have a lot of people coming into the top of our funnel, but just a small percentage of them come at the bottom, meaning that they wind up converting and buying. All of the vanity metrics that we're talking about reside at the top of the funnel, the traffic, the views, the followers, the likes, and so on. I hope this is making sense for you. I hope it is helping to clarify things and maybe reduce a little bit of stress and anxiety on your part. Now, there's more that we've got to get to, but first, if you are serious about your online business, if you're serious about really taking the next big steps forward, then here's what to do. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash traffic. Now, there you will find an audience attraction bootcamp. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop. There, you and I are gonna dissolve, completely destroy three big nasty hairy myths about what generating website traffic is all about and we'll get to the real truth about how it all works. You'll get three primary ways to promote your website and attract traffic and discover which one is gonna be a perfect fit for you for your online business and your marketing efforts. We'll also nail down a clear actionable plan for you to move forward with your online marketing efforts. You definitely don't wanna miss it. Next though, what metrics should we be concerning ourselves with? Well, as 
Marketers and online business owners, we should be concerning ourselves with metrics that reside in the middle of the funnel, not the top, the middle of the funnel, and at the bottom of the funnel. Metrics that we can find in the middle of the funnel are metrics like our email opt-in rate, the number of people who sign up for our email mailing list, right? Our email open rate, and our email click-through rate, these sorts of metrics. But the metrics, my friend, the metrics that really truly matter are metrics that are found at the bottom of your sales funnel. Metrics like sales, net revenue, gross profit, lifetime customer value, and so on. To really boil it down for you, the absolute single most crucial metric in any business is net profits. That is gross revenue minus overhead expenses. That, my friend, is really truly what matters most in your business. Metrics that are found once again at the top of your sales funnel are the ones that are most commonly cited, most commonly tracked, but they don't matter at all. As we've said a number of times here, we've already discussed this. Metrics like website traffic, number of video views, number of likes and shares and follows on social media and so on. Notice too, by the way, that the further down the funnel we get, the fewer metrics there are, but the more powerful and more vital and crucial those metrics are. Interesting stuff, no doubt. Is it possible, my friend, that most people are looking at the wrong numbers? I mean, there are plenty of people with big, big followings on social media, lots of views and lots of subs and things like this, but man, that's not a business. Building a following on a giant social media site and calling yourself an influencer or an entrepreneur and pretending to be successful is not being an online business owner or an entrepreneur, not at all. But I think maybe that's a conversation for another day. In the meantime, my friend, there you go. That's the straight truth about your social media stats. Now, next, let's get going in your audience attraction bootcamp. You definitely don't want to miss it. I will see you there next.